when we look at the hybridization for ClF5, this is chlorine pentafluoride, what we're trying to do is we're looking at that central chlorine atom and we want to know how the atomic orbitals for that chlorine atom have mixed to form hybrid orbitals and then how those new hybrid orbitals they're going to bond with the fluorine atoms. So in short, the hybridization for ClF5, that's sp3d2. And I'll show you two fairly quick ways to figure that out. First, we could look at the steric number. That's the number of electron domains attached to the central atom here. So we have a lone pair, that's one. And then we have five of these fluorine atoms here. So we have a total of six electron domains. Six gives us sp3d2, just like we said before. The other way we can do this is we can look at the number of sigma bonds and lone pairs. So sigma bonds, those are single bonds. We have one, two, three, four, five, and then we have our lone pair here. Five plus one is six, sp3d2. That's the hybridization for ClF5. Note that sometimes there are molecules that are exceptions to using these techniques. There's a link in the description to help you with those. Note also that you need a valid Lewis structure to do this, to use these techniques. If you need help drawing the Lewis structure for ClF5, there's a link at the end of this video. Do note that chlorine can have more than eight valence electrons here, can have an expanded octet. So this is the correct Lewis structure for ClF5. Again, what we're looking at here when we find the hybridization, we're looking at how they've mixed to form hybrid orbitals and how those hybrid orbitals are bonding with these other atoms here, with these fluorines. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.